Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Um, thoughts and prayers to uh, Gilly the Kid, who basically lost his son, uh, who was a rapper himself, and he was like uh, 25 years old. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, just my condolences to Gilly the Kid, because I'm pretty sure he's in a lot of pain, because at the end of the day, no parent... And I mean, absolutely no parent wants to bury their child. They don't want to outlive their children. And like I said before, um, I just understand what he going through being a parent, because like I said before, my son is approaching 25. And like I said, I would be heartbroken if anything happened to him. You know. When these type of things happen, because I didn't went through this with people who lost their children, you think to yourself, what did I do wrong? How did this happen? Did I fail as a parent? Did I fail my child? How did my son or my daughter end up in a situation to where their life was uh, prematurely taken from them due to, you know, gun violence? Now, you heard some things I don't even want to talk about what his son was allegedly doing but at the end of the day unfortunately he's not here and i see a couple of people you know talking out the side of their necks via social media it's always them kind of people you know that make you wish nothing but the worst on them because like i said you know let the man be you know let the man grieve you know because like i said the man is heartbroken like, like I said before, no parent wants to outlive their children. They want to see their children have children and then they become grandparents, possibly live long enough to become great grandparents. So, like I said, my heart goes out to Gilly the Kid and, you know, um, I don't know Gilly the Kid, but like I said before, I just want to say my condolences because, like I said, what happened is tragic. Um, you know, it always hurts when you hear about another young black man uh, losing a life at such a young age. He hasn't even begun to experience life at 25. There's still stuff that you need to learn. You're still growing. To a certain degree, you don't really know where you are as a person till you reach sometimes your 30s or even mid-30s, you know. So just to hear about something like that, it's just terrible. So, you know, I just wanted to give my take on the situation. And, um, 